got selected to be the random person that they search. So the woman said, I'm going to pat you down, your front side and your back side. Does, you know, do you have anything sharp? And I said, I don't have anything sharp, but just want to let you know that if you pat my front side and you feel a little extra patting on you know, the right side, that's, that's my ileostomy. And she's like, what's that? I said, oh, well, you know, so I explained to her. I said, you know, I just, I don't have a large intestine, so I have a small pouch that, you know, my waist empties into. And she's like, do we need to go into a private room and do this? And I'm like, no, as long as you don't ask me to take my clothes off, we're fine. So, so you know, just a lot of people are quite ignorant, not on purpose. Um, chalk it up to experience, so. <laughs> I used to joke that I was going to be the first person to write a book about the cleanest bathrooms in America. <laughs> because I thought, I, by golly, now I'm an expert on this, this whole bathroom deal. Because I was going 20 times a day, up to 20 times a day. That's no lie. Just going through the surgery was such a good thing for me because it was like I was a new person. It was like I literally had a new lease on life. I could drive to Austin, which is something we love to do, and not be thinking, okay, it's 10 miles to the next bathroom. I just had an incredible amount of freedom, and so I just really, really embraced that and honestly wish that I had had that surgery much, much sooner because it gave me my life back. <laughs>